I'm sitting there with my <sighs> with my guy. He's dressed in a white robe, sandals. Mm-hmm. I've known him for so long. Mm-hmm. What does he say to you? We've been waiting for you. And I look up and there are so many behind. <laughs> Describe to me what you, what's happening there. What else do you see? I see nature. Mm-hmm. There's trees. And I feel like I'm being welcomed. Mm-hmm. And in this beautiful place, you'll be able to connect with that nature now. Connect with your soul. You'll be able to see. What do you see in that nature? I see nature has a vibration. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I feel it Mm -hmm. emanating through my body. What would you describe that vibration to be? One. Mm -hmm. One. It's like every, all the ripples, the circles, it's all one. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in this place, you'll understand what those circles are. What are those circles? See it from a different perspective now. Circles are a vibration that we emanate. It's an energy field mm-hmm. we emanate. Mm-hmm. See if you can follow those circles. How far do those circles go? There are some that are small and mm-hmm. some that are very short bands. And then there are some that are very broad. They all go into each other. Mm-hmm. How do they affect it's each other? It's vast. It's vast. It's that, vast. Does everything have circles? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like a radio signal. Yes. So how do these circles affect you, your own soul? I feel them ripple through my center. Mm-hmm. Some of them get sent out forcefully, Mm -hmm. forced, and they hurt. Mm -hmm. What is it that they're triggering? Um, They trigger trigger dis-ease in my system. Mm -hmm. I see my waves and they just... um, They they change shape. Mm -hmm. They become jagged Mm -hmm. forced instead of flowing yes so what is keeping them from flowing focus in on this jagged energy what do you notice i notice that if i push out from inside out Mm -hmm. i push it away But I feel like I'm supposed to take it on. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to call on your guide and see if your guide has answers for you. Um, I agreed. Mm -hmm. I thought I had to. I thought it was what needed to be done. He says I don't really have to, but that I chose it. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To protect everything else. Mm -hmm. I didn't like to see the disharmony. Mm -hmm. sad bad waves Mm -hmm. what are you doing with all those sad bad waves 
And I feel like I transmute them. Mm-hmm. Like a tuning fork? <laughs> of sorts. Mm-hmm. So let's find out. Let's follow one of those waves and see where it's coming from. Let's see how it's transmuted. It comes from different people around me. Mm-hmm. It comes from... It comes from... It comes from unhealthy sources. So what I see from nature, emanating that back, sometimes it... Uh, I see sometimes like a chemical signature mm-hmm. and that can create ripples in nature that are unhealthy. They send out signals that are unhealthy. It really is just a cry for help. Mm-hmm. The same with people, the same with animals. Oh, so many waves. Mm-hmm. Is this body capable? Of handling all of this. Yes. All right. So let's find out what it is that this soul signed up for in this lifetime. Let's go back even further to before this soul was on earth, before this soul came into Gaia. I want you to go ahead and ask your guide to accompany you now as I count from five to one and take you back to the moment where this soul made the decision to come here to transmute this energy. Begin now with a deep breath, five, propelling you forward into this time space, four, to the decision of this lifetime, three, two, And one. Be there now. I'm in space. I'm in space. Mm -hmm. Galaxy, universe. I don't know if I have a body. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see. I feel more like energy. Mm -hmm. So what is it that this light body, this energy body, is doing in space? It's a part of the one. Mm-hmm. It's a part of connectedness. Mm-hmm. How do you feel being part of the one? Oh, it's so soothing. Mm-hmm. It just is. Mm-hmm. It feels effortless and Wonderful. free-flowing. Mm-hmm. And I see the ripples here, too. I see... The sea waves. Where do you see them coming from? I see them coming from Earth. Mm-hmm. They look like lightning bolts. Mm-hmm. Can you identify? I see a need mm-hmm. for her. Lightning bolts, I see a need for a soothing softness, a balancing. What decision do you make? I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree to go help. I have been in many spaces. And done many things this way. Mm-hmm. I seem to gravitate. And I've done this many times. Mm-hmm. But I really see this need now, and I go back. I help once more. Do you know ahead of time what you're going to be getting involved with? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that. I feel like I have colleagues. Mm-hmm. Let's find out who those colleagues are. Allow yourself to be in the presence of these colleagues in this energy form. We are one. Mm-hmm. Thank God for so long. I missed them. Mm-hmm. It feels good being with them. Mm-hmm. Feel it. Feel their presence. <sighs> Ah, <sighs> brethren. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Can you identify who they are? I just feel source, but they feel individual too. They feel um, individual, purposeful. As if um, I don't want to say elemental, but it's like that. Mm-hmm. We Did consider it our our path, our choice to transmute to change. Mm-hmm. The elements back in the balance. How do you do that? We connect to the area of disease and send frequencies out. in a positive way. We send out signals of positive um, triangulation, Mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. These signals emanate like radio towers. Um, You're using Earth as an example. Mm -hmm. Placing radio towers like tuning forks Mm -hmm. around the planet emanating this positive wave. These radio towers, are these your colleagues? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many do you? Five. Five of them. There are more, but there are only five I see. Mm -hmm. Where do they see them? Take a look at the globe. I see the globe. Mm -hmm. Um... Three, I know. Two, I haven't met yet. Mm -hmm. And there are more coming. Mm -hmm. Creating balance and flow. Once you get an area balanced, it's easier for the other um, other towers to appear. Mm-hmm. They are on every area. I want to say continent. Mm-hmm. The energy of these towers, are they that strong? Yes. Mm-hmm. And what they do is They have their place in their own space, but the bigger picture is what they do beyond themselves. Mm -hmm. So while they're planted in a certain area, they emanate a high frequency from the top. Say, if you were to use a guiding point from the seventh chakra up, they radiate out, but it's a twofold project where they work with the energy beneath these waves. 
So the energy above holds out, protects and emanates positive, positive protective energy, radio waves, frequency. And it goes out and below from say the seventh down, there's a transmuting process of the energy on the lower plane. And the transmutation occurs even as they are hit, as we are hit with imbalance. We reverberate out the difference is you don't send it back. Sending back would be in a do as you have been done unto. But by transmuting that and bringing it in, you ground it out, returning it into a collective state. It assists in the conscious awakening of others. And that's why those closest to us, in the proximity of us, find that openness. It's a recalibration, process of recalibration. What is it that's being recalibrated? into positive energy flow, mm -hmm. radiating out, allowing the waves to emanate back into the universe. Mm -hmm. And it feels so good. So let's say, for example, that someone is sending out bad energy. Are these towers receiving that bad energy from the collective? Yes. And then sending it, not back to the person transmuted, but into the universe? Um, it goes two, two ways. Mm -hmm. Explain that for me, please. So you have the energy filter from up mm -hmm. above that sends out as it transmutes out, there are positive. There's positive in everything. Mm -hmm. Positive in everything. Your glasses half full or half empty. Mm -hmm. There's always something in it. So this radio tower has experienced things in her life with her body recently. She's had migraines, she's had issues with her heart, with her breathing, can you tell me why she is experiencing all of these issues with her body? What's happening? There was a wave that came through in an attempt to fragment, loosen, mm -hmm. pull up her roots. How old was she when this wave came through? This is recent in time. Mm -hmm. I would say like 2015, mm -hmm. 16. Mm -hmm. 17. It's been sent out a few times. Mm -hmm. Who is sending out this energy, this wave? <sighs> There's a group. Mm -hmm. That wishes to have a different outcome. Mm -hmm. But that just is not so. We are beyond that. Mm -hmm. 
Where is this group located? Um, is it on Earth or elsewhere? Their roots began beyond Earth. Mm -hmm. They come and go. They manipulate some time. Mm -hmm. They also have taken on bodies walk among us. And they carry with them these jagged energy lines, these frequencies, like we are tuning forks for positive vibration, collective understanding and love. Mm -hmm. They're the opposite. The beautiful balance in this is that Sometimes you have to have one to understand the other. Mm -hmm. Even though this body encapsulates and transmutes this energy, allowing this energy to have its time to speak in a jagged frequency gives others the opportunity to see a different way and choose. They have choice. The tide has changed. We are coming into more of a relaxed frequency, mm -hmm. flow, love, life and all things. Where is this energy coming from? Which energy do you speak? The relaxed one. It's the essence of all that we are. Mm -hmm. It's the vibration of the universe. Mm -hmm. oh, a grain of sand has the vibration of the universe. So we're feeling that flow more now. Yes. Mm -hmm. But being that we are going into that state, why is she still feeling all of that jagged energy? Why is she still having the migraines and the issues with her body? They're less frequent now. Mm -hmm. But she's ready to release them. They're reminders that come up. Mm -hmm. She's ready to let them go. Is she holding all of this jagged energy somewhere in her body? It looks like stomach. Mm -hmm. The stomach sends out this crazy jagged line mm -hmm. through the right side of her body and it zigzags. Looks like she tries to catch it and can't. Mm -hmm. So, who can assist me today to help her harnessing this jagged energy and transmuting it? Is there one of her guides who can do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you identify this guide for me? Here's Saul. Saul. Very good. So I'd like for you now to just encapsulate that energy within that stomach. We have to step into her. Okay. Go ahead and tell me what you do. It's a frequency change. Mm -hmm. I see the allowance of release. As I am in her body, mm -hmm. she's taken on so much energy. It's like burnt holes, like cigarette burns. Mm -hmm. She has an inner core that needs to radiate out more mm -hmm. and move into a different frequency. The frequency she's been operating on is in a way short-circuited. This vibration, this uh, ability. As 
There we go. She is reconnecting fully. Mm -hmm. This vibration goes deep into the spine, into her life force, and her cells. It's very soothing. Mm -hmm. I've done this for her before. She doesn't remember. How old was she then? Four. Mm. What did she need this tomb meant that for? All of the energy around her was so condemning. Mm -hmm. Did that help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. She began to play the violin. Music carries vibration mm -hmm. when played correctly. It was her tool. Mm -hmm. So I know that she is using another vibration now. Another form of music in language. Yes. Can she use that now yes. to help with this? today. Satakana Yasechi. Kenuto Sukayat. Kadakasayita Yasa. Dorte Ishada Takayana Aya. Oh, Sasataka. It aligns her. Mm -hmm. She aligns others. Satakana is Mataka. Her body vibrates. The capacity to emanate such strength. Feels like she doesn't have it in her. So take on a Saima Setusha. Setusha. It brings the stones that she holds to life. They work with her. What are the stones doing for her alignment now? They are validating the process of vibration. Mm -hmm. They are pinging, in a sense. The more vibration, more positive vibration they receive, they vibrate that out. It's a pinging process. It's what she utilizes when she works. Mm -hmm. When she senses the vibration of another, be it with her hands, or just knowing, just being in the proximity of that individual, when she focuses on that individual, nature, location, whatever that might be, she receives the knowing of that lack of vibration in an area. She sends the signals to it, allowing it to strengthen and clear. She questions where this like language comes from. It's her. Mm. It's who she's always been. Why did it take so long for her to bring that out now? The overlay that she carries in this life didn't believe that it could be as powerful as it is. She thought it might be ego. She thought she might be, would you say, crazy? Mm -hmm. 
but if allowed to run with it, there are so many great things she will do. Can she use this when she does her Reiki? She uses it. Mm -hmm. How can she do it even more? With her tuning today, mm -hmm. she will be doing this. So this tuning that she's received today, how will it benefit all of these things that she's been dealing with, these medical type or health issues? She thinks they hold her to the human form. Mm -hmm. The phrase, if I have this, I won't have that. Mm -hmm. But releasing these old signatures, these old patterns, are just fragments. They, they are fractals that no longer serve. Has she released it yet? Not quite. Mm -hmm. There's an area in her head. Let's take a look at that yeah. area and see what's there. What is that? It's in the center of her head. Mm -hmm. There's like a layer over the pineal It also gets in her way of seeing clearly. Mm -hmm. Could you go deeper into that layer and tell me what it's made of? <sighs> That's a film. Mm -hmm. Is this natural to no. have this film? So let's find out the identity of this film. Where did it come from? Did she create it? No, this was placed. Mm -hmm. They didn't want her to see. All right, let's identify who placed it there. I'd like for you to take her back to the origin of when she created that allowance because she needed to be open enough for them to do that. What was happening that she allowed this to happen? What state was she in? I see a night, a night sky. A night sky. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm walking in a place of magic. Mm -hmm. In a way, I shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Is this happening during the dream state? No. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it's happening. This is a time, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And she, I almost feel like, I see a structure very similar to Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. so it's a place of practicing. Mm -hmm nature, balance. But there are those who wish it opposite. Mm -hmm. I thought they were positive, but they were negative. In my form, I thought if I took that energy on, I would transmute it. But it was a trick. Because they know me. Mm -hmm. They know me. I'm ready to release this. All right. So it's go. a gummy substance. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to feel, and I'll put my hand over your forehead. Begin to feel that energy releasing that film. Oh. We're going to send it right up to the universe and just almost like peel it or dissolve it off. We need help. Mm -hmm. I can't get it all off. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for your guide, the one that helps during your Reiki sessions. 
either one or many, to come and assist you. There are many. Mm-hmm. Let's bring them all in. And let's release that film from that third eye. And tell me what they're doing. Oh, being in their presence. Mm -hmm. Feels so good. They tell me that it's okay. Mm -hmm. Release it. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Allow it to just release. an ash burning off. Mm -hmm. The pineal needs adjustment. Michael. Michael's here. Very good. So tell me what Michael does. Michael and Raphael mm -hmm. are emanating. This beautiful light. I don't feel worthy. Allow yourself to feel worthy. You've come here on an important mission. And you wouldn't be here unless you were worthy to be one of those beautiful towers. Allow yourself to see who you truly are. They say I'm among them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do feel like I've been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot. <sighs> we just get caught up in so many things. It really don't matter. Mm -hmm. She laughs because she's a crier. Mm -hmm. You should see her in commercials. Mm -hmm. oh, even watching those, she transmutes so much energy. Let's use that same transmutable energy into herself. Keep scanning this body and see. Oh, we take hands with her. Mm -hmm. We meet on the ethereal. We've had meetings, she forgets. Mm -hmm. We connect and orchestrate a plan in a planning in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Who is it that she meets with? Hello, he. Mm -hmm. Many, actually. Mm -hmm. There are the the Council of Light, the Elohim, the Archangels, mm -hmm. the One Source, Converse. So she asks why she was incarnated into this life. She is holding so much energy. Imagine a ball of light emanating out, pure light emanating out. No matter how many sheets of placements from lifetimes, they cannot dim the light within. Mm -hmm. And the more she recognizes this path, the more she will just be light. Mm -hmm. Will she be working more with this light now that this film has been taken from her pineal gland? Yes, mm -hmm. it has dimmed her path. Mm -hmm. 
and resources. So she's done quite a bit even with her third eye being filmed. Now, without that film on it, what should she be doing next? What have you discussed? Focus on color. Mm-hmm. On colors. Mm-hmm. Colors are portals. Portals, portals are placement. Placement is understanding, seeing, ultimately releasing. She will come to know this fully in time. Mm-hmm. She knows this fully in her soul form. She has agreed. She agreed to this meeting even though she felt like she was still in that infantile state of humanness, as you will. Mm-hmm. So she she's ready. She's ready. Take our hands, young one. はい、どうかな、イエス様、でかいせとか。なたかさいのてかさい。せのとしゃてやなかよまさ。そてしゃにあさかいて。はい、たたかなさたやとさ。えもさたかなやさてしゃて。<laughs> カニオサテヨシャ。セトゥウナシャテヤマサトウテナカ。エソトゥウナシャテヤマサトコウナ。ソソトゥウナサカタヤマサタヤ。セセノトソウマタカナイヤサシェティイノソ。オヤタカナ
It reflects back. So that is why she is so connected to the animals as they have that same capacity to bring in the waves around them and transmute them into Gaia. This is a signature from Gaia as she emanates out. The path of nature, be it from a tree, an insect, an animal, It emanates the signature from Gaia. So it would naturally emanate to her. Mm -hmm. oh, we are connected. I almost see. I almost see through their eyes. Mm -hmm. Now she's had many loved ones in animals. Transition. Are they still with her? Always. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do they have messages for her? <laughs> she... <clears throat> she chuckles. They are... her pack. <sighs> her herd. Mm -hmm. Her collective, just as she is one among of a collective, mm -hmm. she is a part of their collective. We are all one, just different layers. Mm -hmm. What does she need to know about those that have assisted her, those animals that have assisted her in keeping her alive? done their job. Mm -hmm. Did they have that agreement? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has she known these, this pack from other lifetimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. She always loved walking with them. Mm -hmm. They have always been there for her. Can you show her now, just to get a good idea, where she has been with some of these animals before? Give her a picture of that lifetime. Many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. There's a wagon horse on a cobblestone street. There is a cat that would sit on our ancient windowsill. There is a dog that would come to her at night. They would connect. This is who she now knows as Oberon. Mm -hmm. They travel together. They journey. He is a very independent sort. Mm -hmm. They come together at night. They, they look at energy as kind of like a homework from the day. Mm -hmm. He's very good at transmuting. Does he transmute for her? Yes, in some ways. Mm -hmm. He reminds her of her own independence and then inability independent ability. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that she has been dealing with right now is a jerky hand when she goes to write. <laughs> What's causing that? Trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Mm -hmm. So much energy wants to come through. And this is not known as familial tremors, although 
Familial tremors, in a way, are just as they say, familial tremors. Mm -hmm. Family tremors. What does she need to resolve? There's so much energy that wants to come through. Mm -hmm. She should write. She should. She should write. Who will guide her with that writing? Amadeus. Mm -hmm. uh, she finds it humorous. She was part of musical history. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her more about that, please? The writing music. Mm -hmm. Her musical form would send out frequency when played. The bars of music aligned, mm -hmm. creating the most perfect frequency, vibration, realignment. It's the same used many times by women over their unborn children. Mm -hmm. This is her connection to unborn children. <sighs> the vibration mm -hmm. and all things. <sighs> Although she doesn't need to write music, her music now comes in the form of encodements. Her light language. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Written word. Signing in the air. Mm -hmm. That is all writing. So she needs to pursue that more. Yes. That's why the jerkiness is trying to get out? Yes. Mm -hmm. She did an experiment once as we were trying to tell her. We were trying to come through, so she put a notepad next to her hands. Mm -hmm. And then she had the paper that she was needing to write on. And when she would go to write and feel that jerkiness, she would just move her hand over to the notepad mm -hmm. and put what needed to be put. And then she would move her hand back over and it would free flow. Mm -hmm. So she needs to do more automatic writing? Yes. Okay. It is time. Okay. Very good. She said she has an extra lead into her heart. What is that extra lead all about? Transmutation at birth. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So, when she came in, the heart is a electric pathway. It's a current. The current has filters. These filters distribute this current, these waves. She needed it. She needed it to come into such a intense moment. Mm -hmm. There was much going on around her. There were many storms. Many storms. Her grandmother called her a tornado baby. Because mm -hmm. she was born during the tornadoes, the 74 tornadoes. Many were born then. There was an energy current in the atmosphere. This energy current brought in waves. She naturally came in on one of those waves. What were those tornadoes caused by? Was it this energy? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. The balance of energy. Okay. There was no other way to really make it happen. Mm-hmm. This is a reminder for nature changing events. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about those nature changing events? What do we need to know? We need to know about those events. So, there's much trauma people are feeling from this displacement of energy, but it's this displacement of energy that precisely places you. Tell me about that. What does that human, mean? Human creatures get stuck in their ways. So many are here to change and transform and become who they are. Beautiful lights. And they are just candles in the wind. In order to keep their light lit, these changes occur. Earth changes are natural. They've been a part of Earth for a very long time. Gaia, Earth, Terra. She changes and transforms just as a beaver builds a new dam. We must learn to go with the flow. It's okay for these changes to happen. Eddies break, floods happen. The current sends you to the place you need to be. Don't dwell on what you think you've lost. Be in the state of who you are. We are in a beautiful state of oneness if we would just open our eyes. If we would all just connect the beautiful places we could go. We see that these changes on Earth affect many. One of the biggest is the farmlands needed for nutrients, but in many ways we don't plant what's needed for nutrients for all. There are things planted that serve no higher purpose, serve no good. It is a state of mind that many are in, that they must keep planting these things in order to survive. They must know they need to plant what nurtures. What are the things that you recommend that farmers plant now? things that make them happy. Mm -hmm. They think money makes them happy. But things that make them happy, if they want to plant pumpkins, plant pumpkins. Mm -hmm. If they want to plant watermelons, plant watermelons. Mm -hmm. These are two symbols of group gatherings. If they look in history, harvest, Mm or celebration, or just collective ways of being, togetherness, oneness. We have so much to give to each other. We all do. The vibrations that will change when they plant from happiness. More than just that, that creates a french fry, unless it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. Even a french fry has nutrients. 
if the vibration is correct. So are you saying that when you plant, you must plant with love, with the frequency of love and happiness? Yes, but a step deeper. Mm -hmm. We radiate a light within so powerful. And yes, it is love, but this vibration is so pure. It is pure. We all have it. When we radiate that happiness out through our tools in planting, whether it's our fingers or our plows, we create so much positive vibration. Guy is ready for that. She's letting people know. Her changes are in preparation for that new understanding. But what, you, what do you say to those who don't have a plot of land? How do they radiate their happiness? A plant in a windowsill. If they enjoy driving, it doesn't matter if it's in traffic or a country road. What's, what do they radiate? Who are they radiating to? Whether they acknowledge the sun, the moon, the stars, the clouds, the blue sky, rain. As long as they feel it from within, no matter where they are in that spectrum, they are sending out balance. Whether you're in a city, surrounded by tall buildings and cement, your vibration still goes through the atoms and cells in those places. You connect to other people. Thank you so much for that. Now I know that Brenda needs to move forward with her work. And she doesn't know what to call it. What would be a good definition for what she's doing? There's an old heading of light work. That really is the essence of what she's doing. Mm -hmm. But... What she has is good for now. Connected living. Mm -hmm. We are all connected. She has had questions mm -hmm. relating to those to connect to her in her work. That door is now open and it's opening bigger. She was not ready to carry the amount of energy transmutation that is needed for her work until now, but the steps are aligning, taking her in that direction. She sees the doorway, the portal. Mm -hmm. She is connecting to it. Wonderful. Now on the other side of the portal, I know that she works with others. Mm. These that she works with, is this her soul family? These that these colleagues that she saw? Or is there something beyond that? <sighs> this question is hard to put in perspective mm -hmm. for her mind. But we will try to explain. So, there are levels, and not to use the term levels as one smaller or below. You have your human form, you have this collective form, you have your one form. She has many here that she is connected to on a vibratory scale that she is working with and will be working with a family of sorts mm -hmm. 
There is another soul family, star family, on a galactic level. She calls the Arcturians. Oh, they're a beautiful f source of family. They remind her of family. That's part of her template on this new earth grid. This family. She's taken that from, from the Arcturians? Yes. Mm -hmm. She is connected to the one and connects to the many. So in a way, she's extended into the angels, the angel realm, mm -hmm. the archangels, the Elohim, Council of Light. <sighs> These are her family too. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more scan and see if there's anything else. She ankle. Needs to, uh huh. Take a look at the ankle and tell me what's there. <sighs> a pastime picture. Mm -hmm. Her inability to get away from danger. Does she need to have something holding her back now from danger? No. No. Is she ready to release that from that past life? Yes. All right. There is an area that needs energy sent to it mm -hmm. that her guide is sending. She has the blood flow is affected to the area mm -hmm. she had an injury on that ankle that she had repaired and she re-injured it recently displacing the connective tissue so we will look at that now thank you Kana yisa i na ti ina uma seshe teki i te una taka i no uma sa te kana e e se te e sha ti ana ka i ma sa se se tu sha kana yisa te e sha ti no so uma ka i sha ne taka sa i cho ke i na sa ta ya ka e ana sa to u sha ni ama sa ta ka i ne una sa ta ka i ta e. O se te ina saima teke i sho une te ino soto uka. Se ti i sho ne te ima sa sa taka ino. Se se no toko sha ti ana ka ima sa ito. Ne ti i so te i sha kana i se i teke ne i sa. E no sa ti ama sa te e sha ti ina sa. Se se te kana i so u sha ti ina. E mo sa ti ana sa taka e. Ana sata ka ino shati ino uma sata ya ka e o shati ino so ama sata ka ina sa. She is fully connected into Gaia. This is something that needed to happen. Very good. Look at her the entire body now and see how this attunement has worked. See if there's any more jagged energy. In the back of the neck and the head. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? There is a line. Mm -hmm. Where is it coming from? She cannot see. Mm -hmm. It's on the back of the head. What does this line look it's like? Dark. Mm -hmm. Dark line. And it is maybe four inches at an angle mm -hmm. 
from the center of her head to the back of her neck. I'd like for you to follow and see where that came from. Let's follow the origin of that. This is part of her trigger Mm -hmm. for her migraines. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to go ahead and just allow her to just go deeper within now. Go deeper within. And I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, allow her to go back in time, either in this lifetime or another lifetime in which this line originated. Five, drifting through time and space, going deeper and deeper within. Four, three, two, And one. You see buildings of plaster, mm-hmm. like, uh, like desert like Take a look at these buildings. Are they ancient times? Yes. Mm-hmm. Show the picture of the globe and let's Pinpoint where on the globe? Like um, Israel. Mm-hmm. <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> <coughs> what is happening in this place? <coughs> there is so much dust. Uh huh. <coughs> You can go ahead and cover your face with an invisible shield and just keep it <coughs> out. Mm-hmm. Just keep that shield up. And let's walk through this place and see what this sand is causing. What is it? There is. I don't see people. Mm-hmm. What's happened to the people? Where are they? They're gone. They are... I don't know where they are. They are not out in the streets. Mm-hmm. There's no one there. In this place, do you have a body? Yes. Take a look at your body. I'm male. Mm-hmm. Are you young or old? I'm younger. Mm-hmm. In my 20s. Mm-hmm. How are you dressed there? I have a sort of robe. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like a baggy dress. Mm-hmm. And as you're walking, are you by yourself, or do you have... I feel alone. Okay. Is this place familiar to you? Yes. What is this? This is where I live. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to find your way to the place where you live. Stand before it. I am having trouble seeing. Mm -hmm. You know this place? This is your home. All you have to do is remember it. I see the doorway. Mm -hmm. 
I always see a doorway, mm -hmm. but it feels like there's like, like a stucco around it. Mm -hmm. I'm at the door and I open the door and I see nothing. And I don't know where everyone is. Mm -hmm. See nothing. It goes gray. Let's find out what caused all of this. We're going to close that scene now and go back in time. Go back in time to find out where everybody is. Be there now. What's happened? I feel like a cataclysmic event. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like there's just a big event, like, um... <sighs> just a big event. Mm -hmm. Just, I can't describe it. Did this big event cause harm to your body? Let's find out what happened. See yourself at that moment. I got hit from the back. Mm -hmm. See what hit you. Debris. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of my family. What happened after your body? I couldn't find my way back. Mm -hmm. I tried. Did you find your way back to the light? Not all of me. Mm -hmm. I feel fragmented. Yes. So why has this fragment chosen this body at Brenda? Allowance. Mm -hmm. What does she need to allow? She was open. Mm -hmm. It was natural for her to have this vibration because that's what she does. Mm -hmm. But why does she need to hold on to this pain? Why the migraines? She could never get back to see it. Mm -hmm. And she recently had a healing where her head had been um, she had a, a wound in her head she died from at another time. Mm -hmm. and this is the next layer of that. She has repeated this mm -hmm. more than one time. Does she need to carry these souvenirs with her? No. No. Are we ready now to release this? Yes. All right. So I'd like to call in again Archangel Michael and Raphael to assist. And as she speaks her light language, to attune the vibration, allow them to assist in releasing this line from her back, this debris that she no longer needs. Keke no to shati yana ema sayetoko shani ataka. O seti inoke ema sa toshe. Nakana sa inoke ishoto umaka isa inoke. E nakana sa ishati ino emaka. Sonataka isa etaka isa. 
o me te isha ke ena o kena sa ti isha ti ima ka ena u ena sa ka sa ino ena sa ka ina sa ta ita u a ka ina uma sa ta ina sa ta ka i se te isha to ko una ti ima sa ka na te iso ka ina ta sa sa ta ino sa ka ino ko uma ta ina sa ta a sa te isha eno ta ka na isa ema Ena sakana i shati inaka, o sata ina emo so toko u shati ana. E sa sata ina saka i shota, e ma sakana i so ta kana i sata i shate. E seta ino so umaka i sa e, o sati i sha, ke ina te e so u te ina. E ma ka i so u shate ina, ana ka i so u shati. Tata kana i so u mete i so u na te e sa. E sa 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 te ne i sa sa kana i sa sa. Se se ta i sha e no sa ti kana i sa ma. It is done. Thank you so much. And now let's do one more scan of her body and see if this tuning fork is vibrating at the proper vibration now. Yes, she is. She there is, is more. Mm -hmm. um, there are many around her mm -hmm. that want to let her know they are there. Mm -hmm. Mary. Mary. All of the angels. All of the angels. The Council of Light acknowledges her presence. The Galactic Federation. Source. Kanayino Soshati. Much to do, much to do. Do they have a message for anyone else today? They have two messages. One will be in my language. And the other is a reminder for us to remember who we are. Remember the light within. You are never without. Everyone, everyone you can ever think of for help is there. <laughs> Ganesh. <laughs> We are all here for you, dear ones. Let your light shine. It is time. And for those of you listening, this is for you to process encodements into your being. Sadnatakaina se shati ina kayama sato u shati anaka. Se se no to shati ata eka ea. Ne se ta ino sa ka shati o ma sa ka na ia sa. E na sa ka sa ino sheti ino me sa ta i ta ina ka e. O ke na sa i to u she na ti ama sa. Se se to u shati ana ka ea. No te ta ina ka i so u me ta ino to u sa. Allow yourselves. Me to usa ti anaka sa inote esa sa to usha. Open your hearts. Don't be afraid. Raise your hands. Feel your bodies. Ho te inasa ka te ishote kana ishote. Esa te inosa ka ishoto una te amasata na ka isa. 
se se to shati ina sa masakana iso ushe e sana kasa ino useta ina sa open your mind your eyes see who you are feel who you are be who you are ina sakana ta isa te ishoto uma se se e so ute kana isa ema de takana isa te isha ina kana sata isho Esati so uma tanaka iso uma. We honor each of you on your journeys. We have much to do. Let's do it. We must not wait any longer. We love you, dear ones. That is all. Thank you. Feeling wonderful all over. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That was beautiful. Mm. Oh, so much love. Mm-hmm. You have quite a quite a big crowd of friends. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. It was standing room only in this place. Wow. Yeah, it was really nice to reconnect. Mm -hmm. Do do things make Uh, sense now? Yes. How's your head feel? I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel... I don't know what I expected to feel, but I feel good. Yeah. Yeah, I feel light. Do you remember that life in which the sandstorm and the cataclysm? Like you got hit and... You, you were reminding yourself here. Yeah. It's almost like a fear of things just not working out. Yeah. Cutting your mission early. I guess so. Yeah. Whatever you wanted to interpret it as, but it was almost like you you weren't able to finish in that life. Mm-mm. How's the rest of your body feel? Is it flowing? Yeah, I feel like I'm vibrating mm-hmm. really, in, not in, I don't want to use the word intense, but a, a healthy vibration. Healthy. Thank you. Amazing. You want to share this? <sighs> yeah. I don't... We'll edit some the, parts out. Please. Yes. The, the personal parts, yes. but otherwise, yes, yes. The world needs to hear it. You did wonderful. How long do you think this was? Like an hour. Mm. An hour and 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. Best nap ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember everything? I think most everything, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I plant that suggestion so that you will remember. I don't want you leaving good, here and not Good planting. Wanting. Yes, I don't want you <laughs> forgetting what, what you experienced. Yeah. Um, you know, the beautiful part about it is when you would ask the questions, they just flowed. Mm-hmm. It was that part once it started i felt so much more comfortable with i had a little, lot of anxiety it takes a little while to get the the momentum going but we did really well even at the beginning with your guide in that forest mm. do you remember that part oh yeah yes and you saw the circles yes oh my gosh that was it was almost psychedelic <laughs> somebody wants to say hi yeah 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 but that that was really oh, amazing. Brenda. Yes. <laughs> we did it. We did. I can't believe it. So, what do you feel? You said you were you were explaining something to me before. Did you lose it? I think so. Okay. Remind me. <laughs> I lost it too. I was in a trance <laughs> with you. So, <laughs> our thoughts got lonely and left. Yes. Um. So I. That was incredible. The vibration of connectedness that we all have Mm -hmm. that was that was beautiful Mm -hmm. to feel um completely connected with Mm -hmm. everyone Mm -hmm. and just to see the reasons behind why we are who we are yeah beautiful Uh, you know one one of the 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 ways we started was in the forest Mm. Um, i just happened to do a visualization putting brenda in a forest because you kind of you kind of like the 
nature. I'm a nature girl. Yeah. And there we met your guide. Yes. And that was not on the, on the video because that was before we even started. And that's where you began seeing the vibration of nature. Yes. Mm. Oh my gosh. The vibration and all things. Mm -hmm. And you're, hi buddy. You're going to come and enjoy the vibration? <laughs> <laughs> my, my cat is creeping towards us. <laughs> Like a little black panther. Oh my gosh. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I think he's just helping us ground up. Yes. So that started. That started mm -hmm. um, a beautiful connection to everything that I just was not expecting the clarity on. Mm. That kind of clarity. Yeah. I was just blown away. Um, and to really see it in that format and mm -hmm. still feel like I could wake up at any minute was even more special. Mm -hmm. So thank you. How did it feel to be in hypnosis? Um, because you meditate a lot. Yes. Yes. It's, um, what does it feel like? It's like, a, it's just a waking, it, you're not really asleep. No, you're not. You're not asleep. Uh, hypnosis is not sleep. No. Um, I felt just very relaxed and the answers just flowed. Just so, flowed right out. Yeah. Yeah. Just Were you able to visualize a lot? Were mm -hmm. you able? Okay. Oh yeah. Even uh, sensory, like I felt like I could smell at times. Well, there was a time when you were coughing because the sand. The sand. Yeah. I, I felt it. It was like I could feel it hit mm -hmm. my face. It's, a, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And in that uh, case, do you feel that you were actually in that body or do you feel maybe you were the spirit of that person? Almost like I was the spirit mm -hmm. of that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was nothing there. You couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really it was really amazing. And what about the light language? How did it feel when you spoke it? So and you were doing your own your it, own healing. Um, it was even more clarified than what I've done in the past. Ah, mm -hmm. I've done a lot of my own work, but it was just more, um, just more intense. It was clearer. Mm -hmm. I felt more connected to it. Yeah. So tell everybody what you do, where you are, where you're located. And yes. and how they could find you. So I'm based out of Jackson, Wyoming, mm -hmm. and I practice energy medicine. It covers a lot of ground, um, but I also speak like language. And um, if you are interested in talking with me about it, you can go to um, brendadavismats.com. There you go. I'll be above us. <laughs> so uh, we, we're in Miami right now, so you travel quite a long distance to get here. Yes. Was it worth it? Very. Good. Worth it. Good. Every bit. Yes. Good. Thank so you. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. You go to the uh, newsletter link and sign up for my newsletter. It comes out about once a month. It will tell you where I'm going to be. Um, once you get, you click on the link, it'll bring up calendars. If there's a date there, click on it really fast, which is what you did. Yes. Yes. It's taken me two years. <laughs> so click on it really fast. And some people have little, little, um, reminders. They'll put like my email address as their VIP. That way their email comes up faster. There's different ways people do it, but go in there and click on it. And then if you have the session, you have it. If not, I'm sorry, you know, try again. But I do travel all around the world doing this. And I'm also doing events. Now, Brenda and I were talking about the importance of people coming together. And we saw today in this video, we heard today, that just being around people, you're getting attuned. So imagine if we had like a hundred Brendas in a room, which you're probably <laughs> like one of them, and you're just standing in this attunement, this way, these waves of energy. That's really what these gatherings are all about, getting you out of your house, in the presence of others, connecting with them, so that you can naturally transform with, with just people around you. That's really the beauty of it. So if you're interested, go to my events page and see where I'm gonna be and be there because we need you. You probably, if you're watching this, you probably have that energy too. And we all need to, to connect with that. So thank you for watching until the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.